April 21st, 1865, one week after his assassination, a nine-car funeral train began the journey to escort Lincoln and his son Willie's coffin back to Springfield. The Lincoln special was embraced by the American public. Americans were enthralled by this historic loss, the first assassination of a president. But what of those who called Lincoln husband and father? The Lincolns who were left behind, Mary, Tad, and Robert, suffered the loss of a man who came to symbolize the savior of the Union. But for them, he was a husband and father whose indulgence and compassion would be forever mourned. After Mary was quite literally taken from the room where he lay dying, Lincoln's male circle rivals for his attention began to exclude Mrs. Lincoln. As Lincoln's widow, she received condolences from around the globe, and perhaps none meant more to her than the message penned by the British sovereign. Dear Madam, though a stranger to you, I cannot remain silent when so terrible a calamity has fallen upon you and your country, and must personally express my deep and heartfelt sympathy with you under the shocking circumstances of your dreadful misfortune. No one can better appreciate than I, who am myself utterly brokenhearted by the loss of my own beloved husband, who was the light of my life, my stay, my all, what your sufferings must be. And I earnestly pray that you be supported by him to whom alone the sorely stricken can look for comfort in this hour of heavy affliction. With a renewed expression of true sympathy, I remain, dear madam, your sincere friend, Victoria. <laughs> 